Automated file replacement is all about increasing the uh, manufacturing rate of composite components and increasing also the reliability of the manufacturing process. We can position layers of composite materials very accurately on fairly complex geometries while achieving the uh, production rates that the aerospace industry demands. So the automated file replacement technology is still developing empirically through trial and error because it is not a scientifically understood process. This results in long manufacturing process development times, high upfront costs, high initial risk, and very conservative approach to the application of the technology, which inevitably slows down its industrial implementation. So the objectives of the process is to develop a set of tools that industry can use in order to aid in the um, manufacturing uh, process definition. We want to be able to identify components and have a set of uh, clearly defined scientific tools that can tell us whether the component can be successfully manufactured using automated fire replacement while, while meeting all the technical requirements such as the quality but also the business requirements such as the production rates. So the approach I'm taking with this project is I'm splitting the uh, definition of these uh, tools into three phases. So first of all, I'm characterizing the materials that need to be processed with automated fire replacement in order to define the process window that needs to be applied to them, mainly the temperature and the pressure. Secondly, um, I move on to the characterization of the manufacturing process. So how the machine parameters, such as the heater power, relate to the process parameters, such as the temperature in the process. And the same can be done also for the pressure and the force. Then we can combine the knowledge of the two in order to uh, check that the two overlap and that there is a window of compliance where the material can be processed by the machine while meeting all the other requirements. So one of the things I've done is I've characterized how a roller, which is used to lay up the material with an automated power placement machine, adheres to a convex geometries. In particular, I looked at uh, male molded corners. The reason for this is that by testing a range of rollers under different compaction forces, I can determine how many tapes the machine can lay up over this convex corner at a given time. This knowledge was then codified into a tool that uh, both designers and programmers can use at different stages of the development of a new product, product in order to uh, define better designs which are easier to manufacture, but also in order to uh, program the machine so that it delivers the material in the correct way. At the moment, I'm looking at the, uh, transferring the knowledge which I've developed in order to aid the manufacturing of carbon fiber enforced thermosetting and thermoplastics materials to bind their dry fibers. This is a new type of materials which uh, consists of fibers lightly held by a small percentage of binder to aid their manufacturing, which have been formatted into tapes so that we can process them with conventional fiber placement machines. The advantage is that uh, they promise to deliver a cheaper product overall but in order to make them viable, there is a vast amount of knowledge that needs to be generated both at the material level and at the process level.